myself. So. That'll fix your hair there, buddy. Nah, the hat's not working. <laughs> Some random asshole. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> Good evening, indeed. Let's jump. Let's jump right in with both feet, there, John. I will. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's better with you, Browns fancast. <laughs> My mic is working, and we are all here. It sure is. <laughs> I got um, one in 31 with us. What's up? <laughs> and I have, it's not better with you. I don't know what he means by that. I think he's trying to say that we would be better had we had a better coach. And I am Hugh is blank. So I'm going to leave that for you all to fill in. And the fan cast would be better if we had a better name. <clears throat> I but. think more people would watch it if they weren't so confused at what the hell we were doing here. Absolutely. Well, you guys ready to get rolling? Oh, I, mean, I could not Let's wait. Let's do this. Oh. Couldn't, couldn't wait for this today. I just couldn't wait. So you saw our intro and agenda. We're at It's Not Better With Hugh's favorite spot right now, and that's going through the intros and agenda. Um... So the rundown for tonight, I have some quotes for you guys. I did a, I had to do a little animation of the slideshow to keep the essence of you not knowing who the quotes come from, so you can guess. Although they're pretty easy this time. And then we're going to do our what the hell are we doing here. So you guys don't know what, for those of you who don't know what that section is, I put in some headlines and we use that to kind of guide our conversation. So... I brought some headlines from getting ready for the draft and, and some things that I saw out in the media today and and over the last week or so. So we're going to dissect some of those. And then we're going to get into our, you heard it here first, uh, first round draft final prediction. So we're going to go after what we, and go through what we came up with last year at the end of the season and see what kind of changes we're going to make uh, being the day before the draft tomorrow. All right. I That's love a... the enthusiasm tonight, you guys. Oh, U.S. Marine Corps. Yeah, very nice. Super very nice. Bye. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> let's just jump right into the quotes. It's not better with you. You're gonna have to. Uh, you're gonna have to bump up your charisma today. You seem. You seem in a salty mood, like someone <laughs> peed in your cereal this morning. Just love the way this well-oiled machine functions. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> With Tyrod Taylor, you get experience. You get a guy who understands how to get to the pay, the pl ah, the playoffs. You get a guy who understands how to extend a play. I would agree with that for Who's, the most part. Who said it though? Oh, geez. Um, John Dorsey. Ooh. Look at yeah. that. Bronze GM John Dorsey. Good work, guys. Or guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, you just kind of... I didn't say anything because that's what I was going to say. <clears throat> beat you to the punch. He did. He beat me. So, another person coming in is definitely not going to take my focus off that. I can't really focus on what someone else is going to do, but my focus is going out and helping this team win games. Oh, Tyrod Taylor. Wow, he is on wow. the ball today. Wow. <laughs> I would have thought that would have been Cody Kessler for sure. One in 31 
is taking a two quote lead. Damn. That is yep. Browns QB, Tyrod Taylor. All right, this next one's easy. Get ready. Get your ringing. Get your bells ready. My hand is on the buzzer. No. One, oh. I did not oh. do enough for us to get a win. Two, I always want more for myself. It does not matter if I have 10 or 12 sacks. I want better, and I want more. Go ahead, Jim. You're, you're on a roll. Oh, this is pretty easy. You took it. Miles Garrett. Oh, yep. I got one. <laughs> Woo! Good job. I told you that I gave you <clears throat> some. Uh, Threw some softballs out there today. Yeah, there weren't any. There wasn't. You know, once the season gets rolling, that's when we'll get some real good ones, especially oh, from especially from you. Well, are our we? Guys, well, our guys battled. I mean, they were battling out there every week. Really? Okay. Are we sticking to a tight format here, or can we go off on a little now tangent? We're go now we're going off on our tangent, and, and what the hell are we doing here? But why don't you kick it <laughs> off, and I'll just change the slide. Uh, do you guys think Miles Garrett had a successful rookie season? Yeah, I'd say seven, seven sacks. What? What? Like he said, he didn't do enough. Well, well, like let, me let me rephrase. Let me rephrase. Did he meet your expectations as the number one overall pick? Uh, Who I was the like... sack leader? Was he the sack leader? If I he was, then yes. I tell you, it wasn't Danny Shelton. Well, so seven sacks is is. Uh, Satisfactory. No. How, many games, <laughs> how, many, how, many, how many games did he miss due to injury? I uh, maybe two or three, four at the most. I think it was. Not that. I thought it was four. I thought he missed <laughs> okay, the first let's say four he missed four. Games four season. Twelve games, seven sacks, not good enough. Uh, do we have a, do we have his stats on tackles for the season and how many were for loss and things of that nature? I would I would want the person who was posing that question to. to to know those Miles that Garrett stuff. career stats. <laughs> well, I know is when you compare him to Joey Bosa, who the Browns passed on, he, his sacks and quarterback hurries are are behind. <clears throat> oh, well gotcha. Behind. Was um was Bosa a rookie last year too? He he was rookie of the year two years ago. Two years ago, and he had another stellar season last year. So, just to, for point of comparison. Well, we played in 11 I games. You. I got you. So that was – was he the sack leader in his first year? In the NFL, I don't think so, but he was definitely the rookie leader. He was rookie defensive player of the year. Gotcha. Yeah, his stats are not necessarily impressive for his first season. So they were gonna, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say, did he meet my expectations or for first round, first pick? No. Okay. Yeah, me important. too. And he Although, did – Go ahead, one and thirty-one. I didn't think he was. Uh, but he showed signs. He showed flashes. He just wasn't impactful as much as I thought he would be. Uh, I mean, it's, if he would have played every game, maybe that sack, those sacks, would be from seven to eleven or twelve. That would be something. Yep, and I think, I think... he did better when Ogba was out there. So maybe oh, he sure is one of those that need. You know, I mean, maybe they just need a, a better <clears throat> one-two punch. <clears throat> That's why I want Bradley Chubb at four. Wow, you're jumping, hey, let's not, you're, you're let's not jumping jump a little ahead. ahead. All right, sorry. Saving, sorry. All, saving all the good content. We're getting rid getting, of all the good content. I'm getting too excited. Are you sure? Yeah, I've never seen anyone so excited. <laughs> all right, guys. So there's, so here's just some random <clears throat> headlines and quotes and thoughts that I have seen out there. <laughs> Let's just kind of go through. There's some that are the same, but um, num number one pick is down to Allen and Mayfield. Uh, that's according to Mary Kay Cabot today, right? That's correct. Oof. Yep, I heard that. Um, who who did she – who's her source? It's, who the, well, it's she... Mary Kay's source for everything. Who the fuck knows? an inside source <laughs> in a player personnel situation. Oh, God. <laughs> Everyone has an inside source. It's probably the guy that washes the towels. Now, let's remember Mary Kay was also the the one who did the Dorsey's friend. Friend of Dorsey said that he was going to be picking a certain person. Well. Hugh yeah. Jackson is out of the loop on the QB decision. One, <clears throat> do you buy that or not? I I think he is, 
And I, I hope he is, and I actually do think he is, yes. I, I, I didn't know if that quote was from this year or last year. I've heard, I've heard that. <laughs> it's from this year. It's from this year. Oh, okay. <laughs> well done. That's a good point. Uh, <laughs> How old is that? Is that... <laughs> we just recycle that. We've recycled that since we started. Uh, so you think yeah. it's good? I don't think. I think. I don't think it's a good idea. I think he should have some say. I think he should have input, but the final decision should be Dorsey and his uh, his little little uh, ring of of secret circle or whatever you want to call it. His advisors. That's it. It's High Smith and Elliot Wolf and Dorsey. That's it, right? Okay. Yeah, I don't. I mean, Jackson has to have. I think I'm leaving some, out some some input. Input, yeah. Some. Input, and, and, but not, and um, not like and, a vote. I would rather see Haley have more input than him. Uh, oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Agree 100%. I was definitely going to say that, too. It's, and it does sound like he's going to be calling the plays and, and having a very active role in the team. <clears throat> um, How much – okay, so we kind of covered that. How much say should he have? And we're like uh, an input, but not a whole lot. The Browns have no legit offers for their number one pick. I buy that. Uh, yeah, I, I still – a lot of those calls will probably come rolling in tomorrow. But uh, what, what, what do we – what would you consider legit? What do they consider a legit offer? You can't put picks on the field, so sooner or later you got to start taking players. So what's a legit offer for number one? Right. And how, how how far down are you willing to go to make another mistake? Of course, right. What if they were to, you know, what if the Jets or the Giants were to come in? Sure. Yeah, you have to. Up? You listen. Other anything outside of that, you you don't even consider, in my book. You know, I'm with you. Hundred percent. Is all this yeah. Allen stuff for real, or do you think they're trying to sell Allen? Again, I, you know, I wish Glenn was here because uh, I mentioned Allen and he fucking laughed at me and thought it was ridiculous. But he's he's definitely con being considered by all these teams. He is so, being considered. I find that striking. Uh, that why? he has moved up so high. Uh, just with his accuracy issues and with his just kind of the length, length of time he's been in the game, it just seems to me like... Well, I don't know, right? As not yeah, being a scout, I, but it's like you're, it looking, seems you're not like looking at a you're not looking at a guy to step on the field this year. If you have anything to do with it, if he's going to be a project, which one has the most upside moving forward? Well, they, yeah, that's like, not going to play. We didn't go out and get Tyrod Taylor so you can pick Allen and have him start in week. Four. Exactly right, right. Well, it, it doesn't matter who they pick. We got Tyrod Taylor here to win games this year. And start this year every yeah, game, if, which I'm excited can. about. I just don't see like with his, with uh, like, who said it? Did you say it before? Um, it's not better with you it's about man. like, he's kind of, he's he's like Brandon Whedon. He's like Deshaun Kaiser. He's got a good cannon of an arm, but he's got all the like he's tall and stuff like that. But I don't. It, it's like the accuracy is so bad. And he played for a small school. I don't know. It's I, like people, I don't know people, either. The recency effect of Brand, of what's his name, Carson Wentz, is, ca is causing his rise. I think that's part of it. And like you said, I don't know either. I don't. I'm not a scout. I don't. I don't know who the best quarterback is out of all these guys. I just the Browns better pick the right one. That's I don't what want, I tell people. I don't want to be sitting here two years from now and, you know, we got this crappy guy and the other team's got the pro bowlers. That's all. I don't care who they pick. <laughs> right, right. At all. I don't care. I just want it to be the right guy. I think we're all in, in agreement on that one. We, we, okay, that yeah. being said, though, we all have someone who we do want and someone who we don't want. So keep that in your brain. We're going to come back to that one. Jim yeah. Brown wants uh, Saquon Barkley. Uh, of course he does. Tim Brown doesn't know his ass from his elbow. Yeah, he's, I think he's, he might know his ass from his elbow. Well, he's a little senile these you know days. But... Isn't he like 146? I mean, I, I understand, everyone understands what Jim Brown did for the game of football it, a long time ago. It's time to – not saying this in a mean way. Get out of here, Jim. Right. It, it's, exactly. you know, it, it's, okay, we've had enough. 
Jim Brown's not coaching anybody. He's not. He doesn't have any influence on any decisions they want. Who cares what Jim Brown wants? I don't care. He needs hey, Jim Brown. It should say Jim Brown wants a hip replacement. That's what it should say. <laughs> Man, you guys are rough on the Hall of Fame. I love Jim. I love Jim Brown. I mean, hey, love him. So I got his jersey. So does so that I'll... mean? Well, you guys are adamant. Then I hear you do not want them to try to be foolish and take Barkley. At, no, I, at I don't want. And a yeah, at four. and plus, no, that's that's ridiculous. First of all, anybody espouses that is is a moron. I'm sorry, that's stupid. No. Secondly, mm. running backs in the top ten even are just it's not a good value pick. No, if they really wanted Barkley that bad, you get your quarterback at one, you can move up from four. Yeah, you, gotta, you, you could if you really wanted to. You definitely could. Or the you Giants. Could or you could wait, and he could possibly be there. The Giants I mean, might it, take Chubb it, because they lost their buddy. They lo- do they lose Pierre Paul, or do they lose someone else? Uh, Pierre Paul. Uh, Pierre Paul only had eight fingers. Yeah. JPP. It's, it's still uh, a net minus for the line, <laughs> and he wasn't that bad sans fingers either. Well, you know. Oh, it, it, okay, if I ask you guys this right now, can you legitimately <laughs> answer it? Who is the Giants running back? I have no fucking idea. Do they have? Brandon? I could ask you probably every other team in the NFL who their starting running back is, and you'd know. It was like yes. at least have an idea. Yes, the Giants have no running back, so point. I can almost guarantee Barkley's gone at two. So they better. Think because what every they guy that I I might have picked up a Giants running back in fantasy last year, and he sucked, and I can't even tell you his name. So Ooh, nobody. Yeah, can. I don't know. Who, who knows? Do the Giants take if the Browns shock the world and take Barkley at one? <clears throat> Chubb. Chubb. So they would take Chubb then. I would think, I think so. I, I think they're ready to ride out Eli Manning for at least one more season. And plus they have Davis Webb, right? Well. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, oh, you don't, rem- you don't remember year, that. Someone Something last happened? year at our pre-draft fan cast said, you heard it here first, Davis Webb will be on the Browns. Oh, who said that? I didn't. Oh, that would be yeah. Uncle Tim. Uncle, Uncle Tim. Tim. Okay. Well, Davis Webb is still on the Giants, so. No. Yeah, they if if they're if he's their QB of the future, then they're doing it the way you'd think they would. They let Chubb. him, I they think let Chubb him sit. Is... Go I ahead. Could see, I could yeah. see the Giants going Chubb if the Browns did just throw a curveball out there and go Barkley. I and then see and Barkley, then, and... though. Giants could, could – you made a good point about their running back situation. It's terrible. I'm almost – I would almost <laughs> guarantee – I'm not saying you heard it here first – I guarantee you, if the Browns take a QB with one, the Giants will jump all over the chance to take Barkley. Which is, you know, that's, that's the fine. Scoop. I Here's, think it's stupid, but that's their choice. Here's so the whatever. scoop, though. <clears throat> that's why I go back to, and I don't know why you guys are so adamant on this, we have to take a quarterback at one. He, take, Nobody said that they have to. Take Barkley. Yes, the you Giants do. The Giants are yes, going you do. to take Chubb. The Jets are going to take their quarterback, and you just hope it's not the one you want. Let me explain okay, why. Okay, so how, that doesn't even make you sense, take, John. Okay. They, we've we've sat it. here, <laughs> we've sat here and hoped that they somebody else didn't take the one that we want for yeah, how many years? Exactly. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't overthink it. You, you go to your board. Here. Whoever is the top quarterback on your board, you walk it up to the podium so, okay. and you take the guy. All right. That's, that, that, that ticket has been. Okay. That ticket was punched earlier this week. Right, then you have on, the four let's pick. Hold on, I mean, before come you on. guys like have an aneurysm. You're uh, getting good players. Let's you say all the to... reports indicate to the Jets <laughs> taking Baker Mayfield. You're saying you guys, if that's the Browns' guy, you're okay with him being taken at one. Oh yeah, for sure. No matter. Yeah. I don't. If if the Browns know who they want, who they want to develop, and they have that pick ready, and they've already made the decision, then walk it up to the podium, right. hand it to the commissioner, yeah. and get your guy. Exactly. Okay. It's it's crotch grabbing, flag dropping, Baker Mayfield. Yeah, what are you guys gonna fine. say next if that's Tuesday? That's the guy. What if am I gonna say? Guy, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna say I wish it would have been somebody else, but I understand because I'm not the one making these decisions. Okay. All right, you guys are being I have a, very level-headed today. I have I'd, be a fine, I'd be fine with Baker. I'd I, be fine with Baker. I would be cautiously optimistic with Baker, I guess, for lack of a better term. I, I wouldn't be doing all, cartwheels. We're all gun-shy because of Johnny. That's understandable. I'm, I've come around on him. 
I don't no. know really anyone personally that liked the Manziel pick. I liked the pick at 22. Spalding, I'm looking in your direction. I like that he did this and like it kind of see what happens in Cleveland. You know what? Though, is we That's don't like... all he did. Yeah. That's all he did. Cleveland has a problem. Oh, he did with... this too. He Cleveland has this. a problem with big personality people, and so I liked it because I wanted the kid to be cocky and successful. Unfortunately, <laughs> he was cocky and very unsuccessful. When's no, the last? Un- when is the last time a player Unfortunately, he was that? drunk and he didn't study his playbook. That's what when. Yeah, yeah. When was the last time and a player walked Browns. on the? F- name a player in the last five years that was cocky and successful. On the Browns? No, in the in the like league. that had sw- like, and when I say cocky, I mean that has. You come in with swagger, so I would assume that oh, Odell right. Beckham Jr. was that way and yeah, came yeah. on and, and was and successful. They're, yeah, and they're trying to trade him. I'll Des, Bri- Des Bryant, they're, they're not trading him. Gone. That's, that's Ezekiel Elliott. Zeke, Zeke has a lot he of swagger. Just suspended. <laughs> I mean, okay. come on. Let's see who else. Um, this is a Browns fan cast, though. <laughs> we haven't had anyone like that come in and be successful lately. Deion Sanders, no. He was. He was. All right, any more headlines? I think we've crushed these. Let's see. Did I? Oh, Darnold is the number one favorite on betting lines. What's he going off at? Still? Today? He, is he still today, too? For the number one. For, for number one. In, in Vegas, what is it? What is it? Do you know what the line is? Like, what is? are the odds? No. Yeah. Oh, way to be prepared. Well, these are just um, headlines. You guys, it's quick hit reaction. Look it no, up. Yeah. <laughs> Look, Vegas is, uh, they're always, they're I mean, usually I mean, right on all this shit. So. And Bovada? I mean, is he going off seven to two? What's the, I mean, where do I want to put my money, John? Hey, I'm just saying. Who's the long shot? Never in a million years the Browns are going to take at number one because that's who you need Rosen. to throw your money at. That's <laughs> Rosen. who it's going to pick. Why is that? I don't understand why Rosen. <clears throat> The, the tape I've seen, he 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 throws the best ball out of all these guys. I don't think anyone likes the concussion stuff. That's that is an issue, oh, and he's kind of skinny. Scary. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, it's that's probably. You know, if you're looking at Rosen versus Darnold, then wait. I mean, he's only two pounds lighter. At least that's what he's listed at. Rosen so, does look like he's a lot skinnier, though. Maybe Does he just they? carries it differently. When yeah, one's listed at two twenty, the other one's listed at two eighteen. What's Baker? Because so of... Baker has like pretty big guns. Baker's listed six one two oh nine, so yeah, he's only yeah. he's only eleven pounds lighter, but he, or he still three inches in the NFL is man, that's a foot. It's a that's lot. What she said. She never said that. She never said that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> I wish. You. Those are. Now, your I mean, <laughs> Those are your what the hell are we doing here headlines for this you know, week. Just for shits and giggles, the biggest one out of all of them is Allen at 6'5", 223. He's only 223? That's, what, like that's, that's what they have him oh, listed oh, at. Okay. Now, if you, can, if you can get him from 6'5", from 223 to 235, you got yourself a Big Ben-style QB, if that's what well, you, you like. You had that last year, Kaiser. Yeah, if you can get Allen up to 240. <laughs> 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 so Your guys are all right. <laughs> so before we get into the draft predictions from our last episode, who do you guys want and who do you think they're going to take? Or who do you want and who do you don't want? Who do you not want? Would you rather go, not Brian? Ask? I got to be back in one second. Oh, oh okay. He, well, he hates that question so much he's leaving. See you later. He's got to go see. <laughs> well, here's it, John who if I, I, got, I'm, I have two QBs that I want at number one that I wouldn't care either way, Sam Darnold or Allen. Those two are my one and one A first pick. If it gets to four and either one of these two is available, <clears throat> Chubb and Barkley. I mean, and you, I think with either one of those two QBs and either one of those two players, you've already all but nailed the draft. And then, is there a QB you you would rather them not select? I I would prefer they do not pursue Baker Mayfield. That's so, out of out of the five QBs that I have, as you know, one through five, he's five. Gotcha. Mason Rudolph in there too. 
I would be fine. No, with... I have Jackson, Allen, Rosen, and Donald oh, Lamar Jackson. Okay. You yeah, know, yeah. and 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 all of those, and and every single one of them are are they're going to be. Let's face it, if they do it right, they're a project. They're none of them are should see the field this year. They shouldn't even they shouldn't even be holding a clipboard unless it's got a, a picture of a play that they should review. Well, and well thank no, goodness they won't. Not have for to. this team. No. Mm, no. No. No, no. I mean, when we all know that you're two high ankle sprains away from your third string QB getting on the field. It's happening. I, I just hope that that's not the case. I like right. Darnold and I like Mayfield. I really don't like Allen, for, just from what I've heard. And it's only and it doesn't even. It's just his accuracy. I think we've already been there and done that. But if you guys, I mean, you know, if you guys want him, I guess I'll support him. I won't boo him. No, you're lying. So you're going next, John? <laughs> yes. You're, and you're, at number you're four, yeah, totally. <laughs> Hell, I'm going to light his ass up. And then at four, I'm cool with that. Barkley, Chubb. I still like Fitzpatrick. Um, well, who do you want at one? It'll be a reach. At one, I said Darnold or oh, okay. Mayfield. Okay. 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 Only because you guys Baker are Mayfield bullying that... me into picking uh, the – the, the accuracy, or is it his drive and his determination? He's a leader of men. What is all it? Of what it. is it? I all mean, is of it just, that. Do you just like the cockiness factor? I, That's, you know that yeah. I like that. You know that I like, I like his accuracy. Um, I like that he's been able to do it at that high level and at that school. Um, and his accuracy. Let me see. If there's anything else? I do think that, like, his teammates liking him or wanting to play for him, I think that is a factor. I don't think it's a factor for consideration for the NFL, but I do think it demonstrates leadership. It certainly does. So, that's why I'm yeah, for it. I think and I'm for, shit, I'm for Darnold because okay. I like the young guy. I think he's got, I think uh, of the group, he could be the one that has the highest ceiling. So and he's gonna sit anyway. And if they think he's the, he's that guy, I'm all for it. Now I can see if you would have said to me, I think his game reflects Tyrod Taylor's style. Yeah, make it make it right. an easier Mayfield. transition. I can give you that. Sure. But all that other stuff, you can go plant a flag in the middle of the field. That doesn't do shit except make you look like an idiot. I was gonna make that point, but I forgot it. So you made it. You made it for me. I'm gonna add that to my repertoire. Well, you know that just falls forward. into the category of you like his cockiness. You like his 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 you know go get it attitude. No one's gonna tell me that I'm too small, too little, too slow. Amen. He's, you know, we usually good for him. we usually like that kind of stuff around here. I don't know what's going on with Cleveland fans yep. lately. They don't like someone who's got a little bit of an attitude. Well, when you're not winning. What you, what's your attitude all it's like about? Like Danny Shelton dancing in the <laughs> dancing after he makes a play when we're down by 15, yeah. 16. Come on, points. that's Brian's favorite player, dancing Dan Danny. He's gone. Dancing gone. Danny <laughs> Shelton, and then his all he did was play dog pile on the rabbit and let me dance to this song <laughs> in a TV timeout. Oh man! All right, Jimmy, who who do you want? Uh, who do you well, not want? For I don't. I don't claim to be an expert on quarterbacks by any means, but I want Baker. Uh, <laughs> actually, Baker and or Sam Darnold. I'd be more than happy with either of those two. Um, number the close mm -hmm. three would be Josh Rosen. Just sounds like they're not interested. So whatever. Allen. Uh, the accuracy does concern me, and he only threw for 1,800 yards last year, something like that. Not very impressive stats by any stretch. Yeah. Uh, so that's kind of concerning. And then uh, at four, I want Chubb. I think if he's there, if he's there at four, I think that's a no-brainer. It, yeah, it's more and more sounding like that isn't. No yeah, you don't even you don't even wait for the time to go by. You just run up to the podium and toss in the cards. And would I, I, that mean, if they took Chubb, would that mean that they would just have a sub package for Agba and Chubb and Garrett? Like, yeah, yeah, and or if you move, you could move Agba inside, maybe here and there. Can't you? Because if you're going to run a four three, you could run him. Um, it would just that would be awesome, I think. And they they re awesome. meter. They re meter. They have Ogunjobi. Ogunjobi is good. Caleb I like Brantley. it. Yeah, they have a good, you know, you throw that guy in there and you got a pretty nice deal, right? 
assuming everybody improves, keeps improving. And Would you guys healthy. be mad if they took Fitzpatrick? No. No, I wouldn't be no. mad. <clears throat> I got... I got Chubb and Barkley as my pick number four and pick number four A, and then I got Fitzpatrick as my four B. I'm fine. Either either one of those three players at four, if they're there, I'm fine. Let me just gotcha. say one more thing about Baker. Okay. I know you didn't appreciate that planting the flag, <laughs> <laughs> but well, you know what? It didn't. It, no, it's not that anybody didn't appreciate it. It just. Okay. He went up against an NFL caliber defense in Ohio State, and he whipped their ass. Oh, good lord! He did. He Man. played better against that defense than any quarterback did all season, <laughs> by far. It's not even close. Oh, this is awesome. And that guy was a walk-on. NFL a walk-on. He's defense. a big overcomer. Who was a, his teammates? Baker love was a him. Walk-on? Yes. Oh, this guy's getting more endearing <laughs> to me by the second. Well, no, He's really just got the picking. it factor. He reminds me of Brett Favre. Oh, God. oh wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> All right, that's not it. Only did you get in the word, not only did you get in the wow. term it factor, but you compared him to Brett Favre. I like yeah. it. Yeah. you got to qu- quit putting the Baileys in your coffee, man. <laughs> so this is an activity that I put in here. I don't know if we want to do this. But what I thought we would do, and you could see I thought we would have a couple more fan casters tonight, so I'll be emailing them and letting them know how disappointed I am in them. But I just put our top five picks, and I thought, what were the top positions that you all think we'll address with those top five picks? And I can go ahead and fill this in if you guys want to. If not, we can skip it. Um, I think, well, you could fill it in, sure. Okay, let's do it. I think we're all pretty much in agreement on one. One quarterback. One QB. I don't – yeah, I do not argue You're with not that putting one. Yeah, just put the position. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is going to take a while. It this might. is going to take a while. No, it won't. No, it won't. If I could – if it – if my uh, mouse would be responsive. I see it bouncing all over the place. Do you? Oh, it's in there. Okay, go ahead. Uh, there you go. Uh, four. Just I would just put defense. Four. Not even. Yeah. Thirty-three running back. <clears throat> Wide receiver thirty-five. <clears throat> uh, although that's you know I don't know maybe. Then sixty-five uh, O line left tackle. That's me. That's what I want. <laughs> That's not gonna fit. <laughs> It'll fit good enough. I'm. I know this one. Okay. Is that defense too? Yes. Or is sir. that only DL? No, no. Your defense is fine. Okay. Not D line. I mean, it, it, I, I. Either way, if they took a. If they took Fitzpatrick there. or – you know, Chubb, I would not I, – and the only reason I say that is I don't think Barkley's there at four. Um, let me see. I don't know. I would probably – I would – man, I'd probably put offensive line at 33. I still think they need to shore up at least one solid position there depending on who's coming back and uh, not sold on it. Uh, 35, I'll go with wide receiver there. I have no problem with that, but I would put DB at 65. Oh, here we go. Hugh is blank. <sighs> I don't want them to go QB at one. I think we can do RB at one, but I'm just going <clears> to <throat> confer with the norm. You're are, abs- you, no, are you John, actually you are, serious? You are a, Hundred percent right. They could pick Barkley with the first pick. They oh, very well could. Come I'm on. Not, wait, you know, hear me out, Jim. Hear I me out. I think they're going to get their guy at four. God. How are they going to get their guy at four if he's gone at two and three? They then you're taking scraps at four. Because, like, I believe, like you guys said, they're not going to. The Giants are probably not going to take a quarterback. They're either going to take Barkley or Chubb. I okay. do agree with that. The, the, and the, the Jets. Back. I yes, just don't I do. think the Jets are going to take. 
who I would we have a one in four chance or a one in five chance of the Jets taking the guy they wanted, and it's well, I just don't think they're going to do it. Okay. I understand. But, yeah, yeah, but see, I, I understand exactly what you're saying. I don't see. That's where you're you're you're, you're overcomplicating this and overthinking. It. Stop trying uh, to be no, the smartest guy in over, the room, Sashi. Hey. <laughs> That's what I do. That's why I'm not in charge of the team. <laughs> Stop trying to be the smartest I'd be like, guy. All right, guys. In the well, room. they're not going to take them. Yeah. Anywho. All right. I like the I like the fact that I can move your little thing all over the place, John. Wait, you can? I can. I can just touch it and drag it wherever yep. I want to put I it. I can't do that. Yeah, you well, can. You get a new laptop. Yeah, you can. <laughs> How? Pretty much can. Touch it and drag. Look at I'm over. I'm over here now. <laughs> No, I'm over we'll here. Let, we'll we'll let it it's over. not here. better with you share his screen so he can show us what he's doing. Um, uh, I don't My laptop is perfectly acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to copy here. Boy, your list is taking a lot longer than everyone else's. Well, Now, why did you just do that if you just got done telling us you don't want him to take a QB at one? You put him down first. Why don't you put it down the way you want it? Fine. I mean, what the hell are we doing here if you're just going to do the same thing? Fine. If that's what you want, then put it down. <laughs> Go QB and then make your list, you fool. <sighs> like amateur hour here. And then, Oh, now you're, now you're moving I... things around like it's the price is right or something. And you got the price of the car wrong. Well, there, there we go. That's what I want. <sighs> <laughs> that's it. I want Barkley, the quarterback that they're going to be either stuck with or the one that they really wanted that they ended up getting. It can't be the one you're stuck with. That's, that that's defeats ridiculous. the purpose. Yes, that's, that's so I only, terrible. I only so say terrible. that because I believe there won't be a chance that the Jets I'll tell you what. the quarterback the, the that the only Browns way. want. The How do you only, know that? The only way your plan works is if they take Barkley first and then they trade up from four to two with the Giants and get the quarterback they agree. want. Agree. Agree. That's 100%. the only way it works. And the Giants may do that if they really want Chubb because the Jets will take Mayfield and they can have whoever they want at four. That's the only way your plan works. Yeah, you don't. You don't. You leave. can't take a chance. This you isn't guys, gambling. You don't. You don't. A shadow of a doubt that the Jets are going to take Mayfield. You don't no, leave I don't that believe position that. Position up to chance. That's it. That's you exact. Don't. You heard you that here first. That's not <laughs> yes. something you gamble on. You're you don't. Just, so if they want to do that and they want to trade and 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 sweeten the pot and give them freaking 65 or something so they can move up to two and send them down to four, hey, then by all means, get your running back so nobody else can have him and get your quarterback number two and then sit there and wait until, thir uh, until Friday for rounds two and three. I don't know how else you do it. You can't you can't take a chance and hope that your guy is still there at four right. because you wanted to have that running back. I agree hundred percent. I understand your logic. I agree hundred percent. No, you don't. And you don't even want the right quarterback, so your logic sucks. No, and you know what? I understand your logic, but I can don't we, think you guys are looking at it. Can we talk about Barkley uh, for a second here, <laughs> even though we've gone over our time, I think. No, we got three, uh, minutes. three minutes. You know, you know how many hundred yard gains that guy had last year? Four, four. How many yards a game did he average? Well, a little over a hundred. Not that great. I mean, what about the year before? He, he's fast. You know, he's he he lifts weights good. I guess. You know, I mean, what? I I think that they're, they're, they're blowing this guy out of proportion because what they think his ceiling. There, there's no ceiling for him. They think he's going to potentially be one of the best. He's not going to step in and be one of the best. But they, they Okay, just, why, they, they, why wasn't he? Why wasn't he last year? I can't I can't answer that for you. You know, Tim. like under 1,500 yards <clears> doesn't, <throat> like, open my eyes that much. You'd have but, to ask Mr. Spaulding because he wants him to go and pick him up right now. And plus, even the best running backs only give you five to six years, and then they're done. Three. That's it. Three. I just, yeah, I think about it from the perspective well, of I'm maximizing talking. one and four, and I do know that they need a quarterback. I just, I believe the one that they're after will, well, will still be there at four based on the the two teams, based on the Giants and the Jets. The Jets are going to take a quarterback, okay. yes. Another thing, the Giants I think aren't, another thing no. you're, I, don't, I just don't buy that Barkley is worth that gamble. Yeah. Not that it's a gamble, but you already have Hyde and Duke Johnson back there, and 
John Dorsey's track record does not suggest that he's going to take a running back at number one. No. He's at not. all. It, it's not going to happen. Or yeah. four, for that matter. <laughs> no, that's what I was saying. John's, John's, let me leave it up to chance by taking this guy first and hoping that my guy's still there at four. It doesn't yeah, Dorsey work. Dorsey took three to in the third up. round last year. Yeah, and, and, and I think that's – it's probably – I know it's naive thinking on my part, but honestly, with nothing separating the top four and people not even knowing, and with their, the problem, the trouble is that there's no clear-cut number one, and I've just been hearing everyone banter and argue back and forth around who their guy is. So for me, looking at it that way, and I hear that no one's really separating, there is no clear-cut number one, then, then it doesn't matter. He, one of them is going to work. I don't Whether like you... that. That philosophy is stupid. That's just something a fan would say. I guarantee you they have a number one guy. I will guarantee they do too. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I guarantee that Dorsey does not want to yeah. take and... another a different guy at one and then just wait to see what quarterback falls. He's, sure. he, that's not, you know. You know by, maybe, John's, uh... by John's logic, we should just trade down to so, six and okay. hope that our guy's still but there. In that, though, <laughs> but in that, though, th th that means the Jets have their guy. And you guys are saying that probably who we're going to take at one is who was on top of the Jets QB board. Wow, I, I was, is that what you're saying? Did. I don't know. No, right. because now every, everything's just rumors now, so you have no idea. But what you to, can't what... take that chance. You you have to just think... go up there and take take your guy. If, we don't we don't know. That's the chance I would take. Didn't the Jets run Belil Powell out there last year for a whole season? They might take freaking Barkley at three. You don't know. No, they got somebody else that's pretty pretty damn good. Yeah, uh, if, if they do, I can't remember his name. No, he he was a good receiver. A good receiver out of the back. So. Um, it's going to be – it looks like it's going to be Josh McCown. <laughs> They're taking the quarterback. They're well, gonna... yeah. You know, if the Browns would have done it the right way, they would have still had Josh McCown, so, and they would have had someone to mentor a so young we QB. Could still oh, we have uh, Taylor, Taylor and Drew Stanton. Oh, they have McCown, right? Yeah. McCown. He's 47 years old, and he's a great QB coach probably. Hey, according to Johnny, he was uh, his best friend. So, so. at our season-ending <laughs> episode, one and thirty-one. You selected a QB. You said they were going to go QB first, and Fitzpatrick at four. Will you be changing that? Oh, really? I said that. Um, you know what? As far as what I think they will do, if Chubb is there, they will take Chubb. If Chubb is not there, I think they will probably take Fitzpatrick at four. Yeah, I'll stick to that. But, I mean, no, I change it. So, uh, if, if Chubb is there, they'll take Chubb. If not, Fitzpatrick. <laughs> okay. So, it's not better with you. I, uh, I, ha I tried to get down all of your words. In the essence of what you were I'm saying, sorry. but it I'm looks sorry. like QB and wide receiver both are wrong. I think you meant that's what they're going to do, and both oh, of them right. will stink. And then you said, or they'll trade for, they'll probably need a tackle, but something stupid will happen. Do you have any revisions? Come on, Brian. Well, yeah, at the end of we last, got Dorsey. I'll tell you what, at the end of last season, with what we had in place before they started giving everyone the axe, I was pretty. Uh, sure that what we would be watching would just be a debacle. So I'm thinking they're going to go QB at one and they're going to get their guy instead of waiting around to see if he falls to him at four, the hope and a prayer. And then they'll probably take Chubb at four. And I think those are both solid picks. If you want to trade back up in the first round, you got the draft capital to do it. Go and get somebody in the twenties. If you want to get another, you know, premier player, go right ahead. But I'd like to see him take their QB at one, take Chubb or Barkley at four. Right. Does there. Chubb have two Bs? Yes. Um, let me just interject one thing about the Jets. Oh boy, they have yeah. Isaiah Crowell, Bilal Powell, Thomas Rawls, Elijah McGuire. That's the guy I was thinking of. So they have a stack backfield. They're not going to take Barkley. The Jets, the Jets why, are definitely taking a quarterback at one. Why would you? What, you can't. You're not. They're not going to base their season on Bilal Paul and 
Isaiah Crowell and Isaiah, Thomas Rawls. Isaiah Crowell, Tr Thomas Rawls, is, who played three snaps last year. Okay, for and they have the Crow. I the mean, Seahawks, because well, he couldn't why, why stay would healthy. They, draft? They're not, they didn't Wait, trade up to draft. Are you now talking about the Crow as, as like a term of endearment? Uh, <laughs> anyway, the Crow, point is. That guy last year, every show. The Jets traded up. They're not going to, they didn't trade up to take a fucking running back. You don't know what they did. They as far, uh, Hey, as far as Spalding's <laughs> concerned, he's the only player available at one. But Barkley, Jesus Christ. <sighs> <All right. laughs> I just think Whatever. He's probably the best player, him and Chubb are the best players in the draft. I don't think we're going to. I think we'll get Chubb, though. But I'm leaving it Barkley and Mayfield. I don't Len, know if that's first or fourth. No one or cares fourth about him. But Barkley and Mayfield. In that order? Who exactly is Glenn? Glenn, Glenn was uh, our buddy who was on on the last show. The guy from Kentucky or whatever? No. No. He's from south of us. Yeah, oh. he's uh, he's a feisty little guy. He told Jimmy he didn't know what he was talking about. Oh, is that the right. guy that sat on his couch and laughed at us the whole time? <laughs> yeah. Yes, basically, yeah. Basically, yeah. So like, he what doesn't, the heck am I doing here? So according, well, we have to get him back in the loop here because according to him, we don't need a QB at one. Is that what I'm led to believe? That's I think that's I think he did he here, but, he yeah. said something like that, yeah. He said yeah. Fin, he said Minka is the best player in the draft. Which uh, you know, Ooh. maybe he is. I don't know. He's definitely up there. And Ooh. then he had Denzel that Denzel Ward and Chubb in there, so So he's he's looking way down the draft list of prospects to come up with. Oh yeah, you know what? Now that yeah, now that you mention it, when Wanted to just ride out this season without taking a quarterback. Because of Kaiser. Because of Kaiser. We'll he wanted to give Kaiser another that. year because he didn't like the quarterbacks this year. And then he just wanted to just see what happens. Whoa. Okay. Whatever Sorry that about is. That. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, so you guys did awesome for your first time back. I'm very proud of you, the energy, the spirit that you brought to the table, and your opinions. Gee, thanks, John. So I think we're set. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I know you guys are. Uh, let's see. So next Here week. Here we go, Brownies. Here we go. Hey, I'm good for Tuesdays. Are you guys good for Tuesdays? Let's. Can we set the date while we're on the line? Is that professional? Tuesdays should work. Think, what time, all, though? That'll, that'll let our, no, our two viewers know exactly when they can catch <laughs> us live. So that would be May... Second. May oh, second. May first. Her birthday. Okay. Have her on. Maybe I will. Who's she, birthday? she would do it. She would definitely do it. Okay. Huge fan. Got, went to more tailgates last year than I did. Stephanie Klingenberg. Oh, uh, Aaron. Oh, Aaron. Stephanie Aaron. Yeah. We want to do six thirty <laughs> again. <laughs> nice try. Uh, six thirty on two. No, it's too early. You want to do nine thirty? <laughs> yeah. About eight, eight, eight thirty. Uh, eight thirty. I can do eight thirty. Eight thirty is fine with me. We should be on by about nine fifteen and done by nine thirty-seven. But barring any any major Cavs games, so. All right, guys, you heard it here first. It's next Tuesday, May first. Barring any <laughs> Cavs games. And From 9.15 to 9.37. <laughs> with your uh, 2018 Browns draft recap. So, yeah, we'll have a full draft rundown for the Browns, more quotes, and our prediction review. And whoever is right, I might have a prize for you. Or two. But if it's me, then you both lose. I'm not taking your children, John. <laughs> You're stuck with them, buddy. <laughs> I'll just take oh, I can't those. give those away. Can't give those away. Anything with alcohol in it? No, but you can sell them. All right, everyone. Point. So I have now stopped <laughs> sharing the slides so they can see us in full view. Is there anything else you guys would like to say before we head out? What does Jim always say at the end of every broadcast? I'm not. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Later, bitches. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks again, and we will see you.
later. Peace out, dudes.